welcome to this Keltex tutorial. Uh, you can go and grab your copy of Keltex online. You just have to register with an email and then you can download it. So they have this downloadable version, which is what you're looking at right here. Uh, they do have an online version for student use, which is free. So if you want to explore that, you can. Uh, and then, of course, they have paid options for people that really get into this. At any rate, uh, we are currently looking at what is called a two-column script, which is commonly used in commercials, music videos, uh, other promotional short-form type videos. So what's useful about it is that you can see from the column it's going to split everything you can see and everything you can hear into these two separate columns. Uh, so we have our video and our audio, our show and tell. Um, so this is a script that's already been uh, written and actually been shot and edited and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to actually go back and start where you guys are at the very beginning. So I'm just going up into my menu, which you can't see because it is off screen. And I'm going to click New Project. And Keltex is going to ask me what kind of project. So you have everything from longer form film projects, theatrical stage plays, uh, things that are intended for radio play. Uh, and then you have some other pre-production type project that you can work with. Uh, we're interested specifically in this audio visual for short form because this is the one that will allow us to do this two column formatting. So Keltex is uh, really useful for speeding up writing. Uh, staring at a blank screen can be kind of daunting and uh, not always fun. But once you get rolling, Keltex actually will help you by giving you some built-in formatting options to lay out your script without you having to set up tab stops or anything like that. So we got a little flashy cursor, just like you would in any word processing program. And we have this gray background that's going to show up behind our text automatically. So what is Keltex telling me with that gray background? Well, if I look up in my toolbar, it's actually telling me this is being formatted as a shot heading, or a scene heading, I should say. Same thing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set a scene here. It's outside, it's exterior, beach, someplace warm, and we'll say new. So whenever I hit enter, if you look, a couple things have changed. That gray line went away, it indented uh, one stop here, and my formatting also changed up here. So if I click on the drop down, you can see scene heading, shot, character, dialogue, and parenthetical. Um, so you can come up to the menu to change your formatting if you want to, or as I just did, I hit enter when I was up, ugh, now I gotta get back. When I was up here in my scene heading, I hit enter and it automatically took me down to shot. So what kind of shot do we want to go for? How about, let's do a little description here. Wide. And we're going to introduce a character, Surfer John. I'm just on the sand next to his board. Awesome. So we just got in some character introduction, and we know what the character's doing, and we know the prop that's in the scene. Um, and John's having a great day, so we're going to have him say something kind of positive here. Surfer John. Tabbed over one more. I'm in the character formatting now, as you can see from the menu up here. And I'm going to hit enter one more time to get down into dialogue. Uh, I'm actually going to add something to my dialogue before I do that. If I hit enter, oh, maybe not enter, how about tab? There we go. Tab goes one way, enter goes the other. So I hit tab, and you'll notice it changed from dialogue to parenthetical. Uh, parentheticals can be used in a couple ways. If Surfer John was actually a, let's see if I can get this change back, there we go. Uh, if he was actually a narrator, we could put in something like V dot O dot. And that would designate that this was a voiceover and Surfer John wasn't actually in the scene. Well, ours is actually in the scene, so I'm going to drop down one line and actually make a, if I can get to it, parenthetical. 
Uh, he's having kind of a slow day, so he's going to say something, but he's going to say it lazily. Whoa, that sun is bright. It's a good thing he's wearing shades. So, this is our first character we're introducing here, uh, but perhaps we have a second character. Actually, going to go back to shot to introduce him. And we're going to cut up to a close up. And this is going to be Rickshaw Rich. Running, dragging his cart behind him. And he's going to be tired, so he's saying whatever he's saying out of breath. Some major emergency. There. So we don't know what yet, but uh, you know something not good is going down. Uh, and just for argument's sake, to kind of show you some more formatting stuff, I'm going to switch into a new scene. You may only have one scene for your whole ad, um, which is fine. But let's say we have a scene that is uh, somewhere up in outer space. You know, because this is an alien invasion, I guess, that's coming for the, the beach here. And it's going to be happening at the same time. Okay. So it doesn't really look like what's on the left yet. Um, but the way that we're going to turn it into that is by looking down at the bottom at our actual tab to see which format we're in. Right now we are in the script format, which allows us to edit and displays what you've been seeing so far. Uh, if I drop over to the next tab, this typeset slash PDF, Lo and behold, uh, it turned it into columns. Something you want, you want to keep in mind when you go to do this is that you do need to be online, even though this is an offline program that you're downloading, for it to be able to process the script and put it into those two columns. So uh, let's say we're, we're done with the script, we're happy with it, we want to save it somewhere. Uh, if you want to save the actual project, uh, this is probably going to ask me where I want to save it. Yeah, I haven't saved it yet. It's still untitled. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw it up on my desktop. This is going to be just day at the beach. And notice it's making a Keltex project. So here is my lovely .celtx file that I can open and edit at any point and change stuff up. Um, now. The other thing you can do, you don't have this under your save options, but if I go back to that typeset slash PDF tab, what I do have is a save PDF option up here in my toolbar. So same thing, uh, I'm just going to call this, where's that day at the beach, dot PDF. And as soon as it's done processing it, there you go, day at the beach dot PDF. So really great for sharing on the web with people that don't have Keltex. Also great for whenever you're going from one machine to maybe a machine that's connected to a printer to actually print your script. <clears throat> so in a nutshell, uh, you looked at creating an audio video script, some basic formatting of the script with the different tab stops, the different uh, uppercase letters, uh, parentheticals and underlines for your character names and all that. And you also looked at some different saved options. So thank you for tuning in and Good luck with your writing.